tanks anyway. Hey, Doctor. Hello, Peter. I'll be just a minute. Wow. Look at all this new stuff. focused on limb replacement, connecting nerves at severed extremities, replicating the function of lost appendages. But what if instead we gave people something they've never seen? Something straight from the mind. Unchain all of us from the bodies we've been born with and instead unleash the awesome power of our minds. Hmm. Interesting method of structural reinforcement. In some sad, sick way, the City Hall attack may have done some good. Norman's approval ratings are sinking. The people are starting to realize their beloved mayor only cares about himself. Sometimes it takes a tragedy to wake people up to the truth. To finally see the monster they themselves elected. Wish Doc wouldn't fixate on Norman like this. It's a late nights in this lab. Glad Doc keeps the snacks stocked up. We should get more of those little cheese squares, though. Really glad Doc let me store things here after the whole eviction thing. Oh, Peter! I noticed you keep track of Spider-Man's foes. Smart. Easier to craft countermeasures that way. Electro was the first legit super-powered villain I fought. Till then it had been regular guys in fancy suits. Electro was a big change. Big change. Last time I fought Scorpion, he asked if I knew what my skull looked like from the inside. Then offered to show me. Super fun guy. Mob enforcer turned walking tank. Rhino's racked up enough property damage to destroy Manhattan three times over. Vulture might be the smartest guy up on this wall. Not smart enough to duck three consecutive life sentences, of course, but still pretty brainy. Gonna miss that humorless grimace. Where did you get all this equipment? Called in every last favor. Took out a few loans, 
It's like we're starting over once again. But this time's going to be different. You've been busy. Just getting started. You know, until now, we've been looking at prosthetics from the wrong perspective. Why restore people to what they were when we can make them better? Okay, I think that should do it. You ready? Everything okay? Damn it! This is all your fault, Norman, you son of a... Well, I know who you're not voting for in the next election. Sorry. I uh, have a habit of making bad jokes in tense situations. <laughs> uh, it was a good joke, Parker. Just a bit of an overreaction on my part. No, don't worry. Uh, why don't you take a break? I'll, uh, I'll clean this up and uh, get us ready for another test. So, uh, hope you don't mind me asking, but it seems you and Norman have a bit of a history. We were lab partners in college. Became friends. Decided to start a business. We both had visions of changing the world just in different ways. Wait, you were at Oscorp when it started? I'm half the reason it's called Oscorp. In grad school, everyone called us the O's. <sighs> Add Corp to that and, well, it is a catchy name. Well, why'd you leave? Norman became more and more obsessed with genetics. He started a project I considered unethical. And there was this... Anyway, lawyers got involved. I chose to leave in exchange for a settlement. But that money didn't last very long. I've relied on grants ever since. If this project doesn't work... Don't worry. It'll work. Uh, let, me, let me just fix this up. I'll brew some fresh coffee. Be sure to run a diagnostic on the control unit. Could be a short. Huh. No good. Gotta reroute this circuit. Oh, why don't you do the honors this time? I 
think we did it. Next step, neural interface. That's a lot of work for you to do by yourself. You sure you can handle it? Apparently not, judging by today's debacle. Because I still haven't found another job. My funds are still... I know. It's okay. Don't worry, I'll figure it out. What's a few bucks when you're trying to change the world, right? To changing the world. Missed call from MG. Doctor, I need to go, but I'll be back later. Don't worry, the work will still be here when you get back. I could 3D print a web shooter. What is this stuff, Doc? Looks like armored plating. Defense prototypes. Fascinating, really. AIM has requested a number of samples of my work. Who am I to deny them my genius? Ah, kidding, of course. Doc's working on some kind of advanced hypodermic delivery system. Maybe to help with implant rejection? I don't know, that's a big needle. Wait, is this the raft? Are you doing work for the Supermax prison? Indeed. They're soliciting bids to modernize their security grid. Figured I'd try my hand. Lucrative contract, and a satisfyingly difficult nut to crack. In some sad, sick way, the City Hall attack may have done some good. Norman's approval of... Advanced idea mechanics? Doc, are you sure it's a good idea to accept grants from AIM? Their rep is pretty shady. Beggars can't be choosers, Peter. Once we're on our feet, we'll reevaluate our funding partners. Neural interface would be a big step, Doc. Big, yes, but essential. If our prosthesis is anything less than effortless to use, we'll have failed. We'll get there, Peter. We have to. Hey, sorry I missed your call. We still on for dinner? Dinner? Oh, yeah. I was calling you about something else, but yeah, we should talk over dinner. The offer still stands for me to come over and cook. Oh, really? Well, I like to take risks. I'm still out, but I'll grab some stuff at the store and let you know when I'm home. Okay, talk soon. All right, dinner at MJ's. Low expectations. It'll be hard to screw this one up. I guess I'll just freelance for a while until she calls. interesting tip today. Remember that barbaric beast named the Rhino? Apparently last night he almost escaped from his cell in the raft. How, you ask? Well, 
No one there seems to know, but they assure me he's been relocated to a more secure cell. Now, I'm no expert on Supermax prisons, but isn't the whole point of them that there isn't anything else more secure? I mean, he's a 700-pound maniac with an indestructible horn. If there's a more secure cell, why wasn't he in it? I don't have a problem with home. Over here. Over here. Hey, MJ. All right, I picked up a bunch of stuff at the store. Can't wait to see what you come up with. Swinging over now. Prepare to be amazed. You are not gonna believe what happened. So you know that address you gave me? I went there. MJ. I know, I know, but wait. What is this? Just listen. This is the address Pete found. Men are all carrying firearms. What is this place? That office. Might be something inside that connects this to Lee. Need to get back there. Huh? What was that? What dumbass can't put their shit away? Bet it was happy. Almost shot a rat. Need to get this guy out of my way. Martin Lee's really tough, boss. Yeah, we build this war beast for Lee. Lee finances the boss's new venture. Win win. Yo, Rick! Boss wants to talk to you. Get in here. Well, you better clean your Need to get into that, that office. Well. Boss sees that, he'll be pissed. Break us, man. All their cash is going straight in grave dust. Is this all for me? You tried any yet? On the sample. Careful. Boss is still perfecting the recipe. Man, just got a kick. Everything okay? Easy does it. What kind of vehicle needs tires this big? Where is it? I swear I left it over here. Hey! 
Who is that? Yo, has anyone seen the 316 socket driver? Those barrels seem important. Alchemax. Why is that so familiar? What's in these? Boss, come on! We'll never notice! <laughs> You're right, Rick. Won't notice? Cousin won't be there. God damn it! I said I'll fix it! You got some stones, Rick. <laughs> Let's see if they break. A disappointment. <laughs> and now I need a new welder. Blueprints. An APC. This is what they're building for Lee. But why does he need an armored vehicle? There must be something else in here we go. GPS trackers. What is Tombstone using these for? All right, boys. Time to move. Get the gear for my office. Time to go. Okay, I want to say don't ever do that again, but since I know you're going to anyway, here. Take a few of those next time. Nice. Thanks. You know Tombstone is crazy and pretty much invincible, right? Everybody has their weakness. Mine is... whatever you're cooking right now. <laughs> it smells amazing. The chicken curry. Uh, just needs some time to simmer. No dumplings, I hope. You're never going to let me live that one down, are you? Nope. The Great Dumpling Catastrophe. I still can't believe they evacuated the entire building. I know, and in January, too. <laughs> Your neighbors hated me. Yeah, they were pretty happy when we broke up. <laughs> yeah. So, let's talk about what you found in Lee's office. Well, Lee clearly has issues with Norman Osborne. Yeah, but, but why? I don't know yet. But his next move looks like it involves Devil's Breath. Whatever that is. Yeah. I'll dig into it. So I was thinking... What if we teamed up? What, what, you want to be my sidekick? Like, a uh, spider girl? Spider woman. No. Woman. No, not a sidekick. A partner. Oh. 
Not again. Hey, it's your crime system thingy. Looks like a residential break-in. Charles Standish. Hmm. That sounds familiar. Oh, Oscorp CFO. Wait. You don't think this has anything to do with Lee, do you? Sorry to cook and run. Did... Did you just leave your clothes on the kitchen floor? Uh... Where do you want me to, uh... Just a couch is fine. <laughs> yeah. See you later? Yeah. Hey, it's me. This curry is legit. So what do we know about Charles Standish? Let's see. Chief Financial Officer Oscorp. Single. Known for his art collection. If Lee's after him, it's gotta be related to Devil's Breath. I'll run a search on everything in that file. Let me know the second you find something. I think Lee might be planning something even worse than City Hall. So, are we partners now? Cause it sure feels like we are. Partners? Uh... Sounds good. Okay. See ya, partner. Police look like they could use some help. Thanks for the assist, Spider-Man. Someone radio dispatch. We need a wagon. There's probably more of them inside. You guys stay here. Somebody was in a hurry. You're hurt. I'm okay. But you gotta find Mr. Standish, fast. Those guys in the masks kidnapped him and forced him up to his place. He lives in the penthouse, top floor. Okay, sit tight. Solid, huh? So glad you're here. I can't find my car. Could have sworn I parked on this level.
You guys work here too? This building is serious about parking in fourth grade. They know I'm here, but maybe I can sneak up through the elevator shaft. Should be able to make it up to the penthouse from here. If I get closer, I can take him out. Hey, you know, and easy. Tall building. Fire bombs? Seriously? Standish. Okay, now what? Enter your password. He sounds nervous. I should take him out.
三号单位检查通讯。三号没反应，谁去看看他？我去了，等下确认。啥都没有。Sleep it off. Need to clear the room before I talk to Standish. Okay, all clear. Hope Standish is all right. Try this again. It's safe now. What were they after? Just financial records. About Devil's Breath? How do you know about that? Why do they want it? I don't even know what it is. Mr. Osborne's been pouring money into it for years, but he keeps the whole project a secret. I'm the only one who has any record of it. Not anymore. Looks like they copied some records to a secure server. Payroll information. On a Dr. Isaac Delaney. Who is he? I, I honestly don't know. Down! <laughs> <laughs> Okay? Yeah. I think so. Good. Good. You know, as elevator shafts go, this is pretty nice.
Hey, Yuri. You okay? Yeah, but I didn't get much out of Standish before these Sable guys stepped in and told me to back off. What's the deal? I get the sense all they care about is keeping him quiet. Because he knows about Devil's Breath. Right. Whatever the hell that is. I'm working on that. I think I just got a lead. A lead? You sound like a cop. Don't you mean... Spider Cop? Uh, Yuri? That's fair. Peter, what happened with Standish? He's safe. Okay, good. And the demons? They were looking for a name. You got a pen? Yeah, go. Dr. Isaac Delaney. Okay. Who is he? What's his deal? I was hoping you could tell me. I'm on it. Just give me a few. Oh, and before I forget, you left that tracker from Tombstones at my place. I'll drop it at Dr. Octavius's lab. Let you know what I find on Delaney. You need directions? Bet I could sell this. Keep up the good work, man. So, Spider-Man, how's it going? See the game last night? Please, don't ask me to do the hand thing. Message from Doc. Sorry to call so late. My mind's bursting with ideas. We've been thinking too small, Peter. Why replace missing limbs with facsimiles when we can improve upon them? People who've lost an arm understandably want it back, but we can give them something better. The human body doesn't need to be our default. We can go so far beyond it. Just some thoughts to conjure with. Doc's really giving it both barrels. Hope he doesn't burn himself out. Please don't touch the suit. I just launched an app that's a daily live trivia game show. I'd love to have you as a guest host. Hey, do you have time to check something out for me? No, but if you ask nicely... Just got a call about a suspicious-looking box on a rooftop in Hell's Kitchen. I could call in the bomb squad, but if it's just some kid's science project... Yeah, I know. Budget crisis, yada yada yada. So... Uh, will you... please check it out? There's the magic word. I hope it's some kid's science project. Man, I miss those days. School projects are so much easier than real-life projects. <laughs>